While working on another video, I noticed the price of certain bones being extremely high, making the monsters from which they drop shockingly good money. Let's cover those, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. Ever since the Powder of Burials item was added to the game, which happened in January of 2022, the demand for bones has been much higher than the demand for ashes, as players that know of this item's existence simply train prayer from the bank as it acts as a portable altar. Now, while the price of certain bones like Dagonoff, Eret, Dinosaur, and the different type of dragon bones have been jumping up and down because of constant supply and demand changes, prices overall have increased across the board, and bones are more expensive than what they used to cost last year. Now, reinforced dragon bones seem like they may be crashing right now if you look at the six month chart, but they're still far more expensive now than their previous all time high in 2020. However, in this video, I'd like to focus your attention to two different bones being frost dragon and wyvern bones. Just like other bones, frost dragon bones seem to be going up and down and they've been a bit higher in value in the past, but they seem to be rising in value right now, so it's a good time to farm them. As for wyvern bones, they seem to be dipping in value a little bit right now, but they've literally never been been higher than this point in time, so it's a very good time to farm those as well. And Wyverns have always been great money, but now they're just insane money. Now, if you're going to be farming these, having access to the upgraded Bone Crusher is incredibly useful as it will place the bones you get from each drop straight into your inventory. Combine that with the Death Note Archaeology Relic power, you'll get them noted in your inventory, which makes it even easier as you can just focus on killing the creatures, with the exception of Living Wyverns, as you also want to pick up the other drops. Now, if you're going to be killing Living Wyverns, you're going to want to be on a Slayer task for that extra accuracy and damage. If you have the Slayer Helmet, be sure to bring it along or put it on your Anachronia Slayer Helmet stand if you have access to it. Now, all three of the creatures we're going to be talking about in this video are located in the Asgardian Ice Dungeon, which you can access by going south from the Port Sarum Lodestone. If you have level 72 agility you can actually get to the wyvern straight away by using the crack in the wall and you can just squeeze through. As for the Frost Dragons, they require level 85 Dungeoneering to access. Now, Frost Dragons are not very hard creatures to kill, even if you only have level 70 stats and you're using a Bandle setup with something like a Zamorakian Spear. Just be sure to bring along a Prayer Potion and protect from magic against the Dragon Fire. They are very easy to take out, and you'll be making a lot of money very quickly. The amount of money you make, of course, depends on your gear. If you have very strong gear, especially if you're using something like a high tier ranged or magic weapon, which is absolutely possible here, by the way, and a very good idea even, you're going to need to run between the two parts of the dungeon. Now, if you are using a tier 70 weapon here, which may not be the strongest, you may encounter the only mechanic these frost dragons have every now and then, and that is the blue orb. It's really simple, if the blue orb is out, the frost dragon will actually reflect damage back onto you, so don't attack it, just wait a few seconds or attack a different one in the meantime. Now in terms of bones per hour, you can expect at least 200 if you're using a tier 70 setup here, but if you're using more than that, you can get 300, 400, I was able to get a rate of 650 bones per hour with melee, and I assume you can get higher if you use magic or ranged, probably around 700 per hour. Which means this method is anywhere from 5.4 to almost 20 million GP per hour, and it's that GP rate very consistently. Now, if you have the required Slayer level and you have the anime Dead Spell Lock, you can easily AFK Skeletal Wyverns for around 440 to 620 bones per hour, depending on if you're using a cannon for extra damage and tags or not. But for this to really be AFK, you're going to want to have that upgraded Bone Crusher, so the Bone Picker and the Death Note Archaeology Relic. And to AFK these, all you need is some Magic Tank Armor plus the Anime Dead Spell, the Exanguinate Spell, which will be your main spell you use for damage, an Aggression Potion, and either the Elder Overload Salves or Wind Fire Potions plus, let's say, Holy Overload, because you do need to protect yourself from the special fire Wyverns have, which is different to Anti-Fires or Super Anti-Fires, which will not work here. Now, I'm actually camping these off task here, as I don't think a task is required to AFK these, but for the Living Wyverns, you definitely want to have a task for the extra accuracy from your Slayer Helmet and such. Now, Living Wyverns are a lot more dangerous, and I highly suggest doing these with melee, because it's the easiest style to take out Wyverns consistently. Living Wyverns require level 96 Slayer and actually poison you, so be sure to bring along your Anti-Poison++ plus plus alongside your Wyrmfire Potion, or if you want an all-in-one, use your Elder Overload Salves, if you have access to those, that is. Now, these also have a sort of special call mechanic, which is a percentage you can see in your debuff bar. Now, once this does reach 90%, you're going to get stunned constantly, and it's basically 
awful to kill these. Now to avoid huge poison damage, what you want to do is sit in around 65 to 85% cold, and if you see it getting close to 90%, light one of those campfires, stand near it, get that cold percentage down, and the wyverns will actually keep attacking you while you do this, because they are slightly aggressive. They don't attack you straight away, they have a little delay or something, but yeah, they will attack you one by one. Now, the Scrimshaw, Vampirism, and Soul Spit aren't enough. You can turn on the Protect from Melee Prayer instead of using Soul Spit to reduce incoming damage in case you're taking too much of it. Now, in terms of the money per hour here, you can expect anywhere from 25 to 55 million GP per hour, and a large portion of your money will be coming from the Stackable Drops and the Wyvern Bones. But if you're lucky on task, you can also get a Wyvern Crossbow. Now, it's better to do these with Melee, but if you do have Magic Tank Arm and the Anime Dead Spell, you can try your luck, try hiding with Magic, because it is a viable method as well and I was able to get 480 kills per hour, which is that 55 million GP per hour rate using magic, which was actually a bit higher than melee. The reason I keep suggesting melee is simply because it's far more forgiving at these creatures. So there you have it, three rapid fire ways to profit off of the bone price increase. With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.